Hello again, everyone. Gary Mazaroff, Gustavo Farrell, and Rafael Gatica. We're here at Court Central in Guatemala City. About to start ladies' doubles, gold medal match, Team USA, Lexi York and Naomi Ross versus Team Argentina. Natalia Mendez and her partner, the recently crowned singles gold medalist here, Gustavo, Maria Jose Vargas. I was just talking to her coach, uh, Carlos Cuadri from Argentina that I've known since the early 90s. And he was saying that uh, Maria has two levels of play, 100% or 50%. And she chose to play 100% today, and that she did. It certainly paid off. It was really no contest. It was, as we said earlier, it was a clinic in her favor. And uh, hopefully uh, her opponent learned something from that match, Carla. Serving will be Team USA, Naomi Ross, I believe, and Lexi York. Arbitro Principal, Diana Lilo Aguilar from Mexico. She hails from San Luis Potosí, one of the racquetball hotbeds in Mexico. And uh, Naomi, left side player for the U.S., was born in Mexico as well. Yes. Now living, residing in San Antonio, playing for the U.S., 18 years of age, still in the junior competition. Todavía jugando los junior. Here we go. Best of five, 11 points. Rally scoring win by two. Drive Z. Point. Enseguida bordo. 1-0. Ball down. Cambio. Primer servidor, Natalia Méndez, 27 años, de Santa Cruz. Short hop into the floor. We've stated a few times this week, Natalia, the cadre of Lobster is probably better than any of the ladies we've seen. Good shot, Ross tying it up. Iguales dos. Segundo servidor, Maria Jose Vargas. 31 años de edad, también de Santa Cruz. These two ladies from the U.S. really complement each other, Gustavo. They do. They play well. Cambio. 3-2, Estados Unidos. So that, that ball hit Lexi when she was situated legally in the doubles box. Fault. It's the third of five broadcast today. Reverse attempt by Vargas into the floor. Point Team USA. 4-2. Nice. Punto, Estados Unidos. Ventaja 5-2. Sigue sirviendo de la misma forma. Z al vidrio enfrente de nosotros. Pelota. Lexi York, as you said, from the West Coast, Oregon. Now lives in Minneapolis. One of your adopted hometown. 26 years of age, also on the LPRT tour. Pablo Fajare is the head coach for the U.S. As you said, Carlos Cuadri is the Argentina coach. Left side. Skims the glass, winner, USA, 
They switch sides over here, so uh, they're going to pick on left side player, also known as Mendez. It's fine with Mendez because she prefers her backhand. Forcing shots by Team USA, really proactive here. Reverse. Oh, nice. Yeah. Ball left up by Argentina. USA puts it away, side wall, front wall combo. Let's look at the last one, Rafa. Timeout by Argentina. I like Lexi's forehand. Nice, smooth yeah. forehand. Yeah. Throughout the tournament, I've seen her hit that ball very well on that right side. Yeah, her, we'll stay here. Uh, her partner, uh, Ross, is more animated. Lexi keeps things equal, kind of kind of tranquil, if you will. She takes care of business. She lets her racket do her talking. Speaking of talking, 7-3 in favor of Team USA. Argentina's used their first timeout. Somewhat a surprise here in the first set. I would say. I did not expect this. If I had to uh, say which team would come out blaring first, I would have thought Argentina. Uh, granted, uh, Vargas having just won the gold is obviously, I'm sure, on a high from that. But Mendes wants gold as well. Absolutely, because so. quite frankly, uh, her her performance this week has been below normal. She needs this gold medal. So it's 7-3, U.S. serving, game one. So we'll see what the call is. Replay. Errant miss. That was a miss hit by Mendez. So uh, no harm done. First serve. Snap forehand winner. Vargas coming in to serve Argentina. Good timeout. 4 7. Haven't seen uh, Mendez hit her backhand drive yet. Great angle. Ball never reached the front wall off that back glass. The racquetball court is 40 feet in length, 20 feet height, 20 foot width. Into the floor. Won't argue with that shot selection, but she's got to get in better position. the glass so Argentina creeping back we're all tied up siete, siete. whatever Quadri said during the time Gustavo it's worked sigue con el servicio globo Mendes Ross, forehand. Ross, forehand again. Reverse pinch. Smart shot. Animated. And rightfully so. Yeah, as you said, smart. And she, she executed it. So it's 7-8. Advantage USA again. See what the call is here. Call is dead ball hand to replay first serve. Players converge. There is an appeal and they are going to appeal, I believe, this one. So the call on the floor, Gustavo, is replay. Mm -hmm. Correct. The appeal is USA says, hey, that ball was down. It should be our point. Well said, Gary. And there's the VAR. Would you explain to those that just tuned in what that system is, please? Yes, Lilo is looking at it now with one of our other referees, Maria Paz Munoz. Call stands, one appeal used. One of the two usable appeals used by Team USA. Didn't call the score, they'll redo it. 
Now she has her racket up, but she needs to hold that racket high. So no harm done, do it again. Set up front court. So you nice. Saw, you saw Ross come in and kind of graze Mendez with her left hand. Said, Excuse me, would you give me some more room? That's called etiquette. <laughs> Wide angle, crack. And crack in Spanish. In Argentina, they use the word tronquito. In Bolivia, chuca. Nice. Animated again, we got a game point. Team USA. This is not what the doctor expected. Diez sirviendo siete, punto para el set. Great serve, near crack. Speaking of crack, or chucas. Team USA closes it out with a chuca at the vidrio, back. Let's watch the last chuca here, uh, Rafa. 10-7. USA with a big break here. Not expected, but that's the way the game ball bounces. And that's why the game needs to be played every point. So we'll stay here we as we anticipate game two. Quadri is not supposed to enter the court. Well, that's debatable whether he's in the court. His well, feet are outside. He's not standing in the court. This is our sixth day of competition, our last day of the individual event. These are the finals today. We crowned earlier Maria Jose Vargas, who's still in the court, for the women's champion, gold medal for the men's. Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico. Congratulations to both of you. And now this is the first of the doubles finals, women's, followed by the men's, which will be Canada, Costa Rica. And then our mixed. Murray again. Murray again. And then our mixed will be, after that, Team USA, Bredenbeck, Sam, and uh, Michelle Key against Canada again. Iwasa and Perron. Juliette Perron. Perron, coached by Reno with an I. Longuelier. And Evan Prichard. And Evan Prichard. And here we here go, we go, game two. Team Argentina better change some things here real quickly. They can't let this get away, and they're changing the serve Six. side. Cero, cero. Lexi taking that ball out of the air. Ball down. I'm under the impression that Carlos told Vargas, take more shots, be more aggressive. And that's what she did there. Meanwhile, <coughs> excuse me, meanwhile, Ross has been aggressive the entire match. Live, Vargas. Replay, first serve. Players converged in the middle. Dead ball hinder, replay, first serve. Nice touch, Vargas. Good hands. Dosero. Mendez has that knack with the forehand or backhand, half high, Z lobs, 
That's a tough return to serve. That's called predicament, my friends. Lexi put herself in a predicament. No hinder call. Point, Argentina. Muy buen servicio, Globo. Wow. Little heightened forehand by Maria, <laughs> Maria Jose. So USA, early in this second set, calls their one timeout. Let's see the last rally, Rafa, please. Impressive. So when we re uh, return to live action, it'll be Argentina serving 4-0. First server is Mendez. Both players on Argentina live in Bolivia and Santa Cruz de la Sierra. Thank you, Gearbox, Sports Corp, Splathead.com for being major sponsors of the International Racquetball Federation. Pablo Farhe giving the fist to Ross as she comes back on the court. He is the head coach for Team USA. Tiempo adentro, 4-0, Argentina. Reverse attempt. Empty timeout by USA, point Argentina. 5-0. Too many loose shots here, Gustavo. Yes, agreed. For our discussion with Travers last night, Hit the basic shot straight in, straight back, uh, back down the line. Try to put the ball away. Too many cross courts, too many near side pinches attempted. In doubles, everything is retrievable, just about everything, unless it cracks. The players are that fast. Straddle ball by York. Ball didn't return off the back. Point, Argentina, and a handout. Uno One, seis. No, uno seis. Jam, good serve. Safety hold up. Offered a point on that one. That's appealable. So let me clarify for our viewers there. The avoidable should be a straight in shot or to the corners. And in this case, she was off to the right side. Yeah, it looked like she cleared. Looked like she cleared. So that's an appealable yeah. call. Yeah. So that uh, um, is what they're reviewing. The, uh, the the back corners clarifying. So what's the call? Punto. Appeal lost. One appeal left for Team Argentina. So that is a point. So the call by Two, our six. principal arbiter, avoidable, and it call stood. That calls, back. call seemed to motivate Team USA. Good call, my friend. Jam again up top. Back wall, York. Repite, first serve. Tres seis se repite. This, this tandem Team USA is relatively new, and they're just they're jiving, J I V E. Argentina. Short hop. Mendez. See if she goes with that high lob that lands in the safety zone on the first bounce. 
It does. It's a good return to serve by York. A controlled overhead, clearing the Argentina young lady deep. Ross, left corner kill with the backhand. She's not shy. Cuatro sirviendo ocho, raqueta arriba. Diez segundos para poner la pelota en juego. Buen saque. It's called an ace serve, for those of you new to the game. Point. Thank you, everybody around the world. Racquetball on the world stage. Appreciate all of you tuning in. We appreciate your comments. And another kill <laughs> by Ross, left side. Cinco sirviendo nueve. So that ball hit her partner York, situated legally, L legally in the doubles box, second serve. Nice dig by York. <coughs> Jammed her. She, Maria had, excuse me, Maria had, the only way she could go up front was to pin herself against the left side wall. Great shot by York. Good shot there. Saw her coming. Wow. Impressive. Shoulder height. Pinch left corner. Different twist. She came straight down the right side that time. Ross. Nobody home left side. Folks, blink your eyes twice. It's 8-9, game two. Let's watch the last one replay, Rafa. Argentina uses their one resource timeout for this game. Vargas wanted a repeat there, a hinder. Didn't get it. Put herself again out of position. And so you might ask, why isn't Mendez on the left side again? Well, they made the change in game, uh, early game two, as you, to, to which you alluded. And it paid off, at least in the first part. And now USA has the momentum, also known as? La inercia. Inercia. That's called learning, my friend. Thank you. So, uh, Rafa, we're staying here. 35th edition of the Pan Am Racquetball Championships. La Capital, Guatemala City. A city of about a million, right? Yes. And it's the largest country population-wise in Central America. Better part of how many? About 20 million okay. persons population. Our schedule this year for the IRF events, the national, the world seniors in combination with the national masters will be in Chicago, July 25th through 28th. World championships, San Antonio, Texas, first time since 1996 in the States, will be the 23rd through the 31st of August. And then we're back here for the World Juniors early December. Argentinian players switch it back. Mendes on the left side, her strength. Jam serve, left up. Wow. Yeah, ill-advised. York gave that away. She was reversing that ball, and Maria Jose was all over that. So, game point number one for the receiving team, 8-10. And 8-11, so we'll watch the last rally and then break, come back for set number three, tied one each. Vamos a un comercial, regresamos con ustedes en dos minutos. 
My name is Jake Brenbeck and I play with Gearbox. I personally love a solid frame. I just, I've always loved how Gearbox has felt and it's, there's no better frame on the market. My mindset in racquetball and in life, because I think sports and life just coincide, they're great representations of each other, is you have to work hard. Understand that there are going to be setbacks, but if it's something that you want, there's really no stopping you. And that's kind of how I live. I just go after what I want. Welcome back, everybody. Gary, Gustavo, and Rafa. We're here at Court Central, Guatemala City. Stop, 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 please. The door. The door is open. We're going to replay it. That's a good call. Close the door, make sure it's secure. First serve. Late call, but the right call. Here we go. So this is the uh, third of five broadcasts today. Congratulations to Maria Jose on the court. Women's singles gold medalist. Rodrigo Montoya, Mexico. Men's singles gold medalist. This is ladies doubles for the gold. Then we'll have the men's doubles for the gold and then the mixed doubles for the gold. Last match scheduled today is local time, 2.30 in the afternoon. So the arbitra principal made a correction and awards the point to Argentina and makes a correction by closing the door. So what happened was the door was ajar. Uh, however, uh, Aguilar did not catch it until the rally was over. So she's awarding the rally ending shot to Argentina. Ten seconds, once the score is called, put the racket down. Good clear by Maria Jose. Up, oh, whiff. Great ceiling return by Ross, USA. USA two, Argentina one. Latter part of uh, game one, Ross started serving from the right side. Jams Maria Jose over here in front of us, 3-1. We're tied in sets, one each. Ross 
across, stay deep, had to respect the uh, same side wide angle and got caught. Reverse pinch winner, Vargas. Jam up top. Wide angle. Good call. Live ball, folks. Ball down. Vargas sends the rally with backhand left side. Straight in, straight back. Best shot in the game. Great for the viewers, but not what Tom Travers would have. Too many, too too many, many exchanges. exchanges. Yes. Although he liked that shot from Maria Jose. Ceiling clears Mendez. Everything going cross court. We talked about that. Whoa. Repeat a court hinder. So an errant bounce off that glass at the discretion of the principal referee. She can stop play, which she did, so it's first serve. Three Even though the ball hit Vargas afterwards. Play Correct, had, because she had, she, had called, she had called, yes, play it stop. Good Should call. Be, yeah. Again, straight in or to the back corners is what and, the and for, avoidable. And, and my take on that is she shouldn't have said anything because uh, Maria Jose was in a predicament deep court. In other words, let him play on. Huh? Absolutely. She did stop that one. Safety hold up. Awarded this time. Again. Empate tres iguales. Tercer set. Uno. Uno. Ross deep. Great pass. Good hands. Ross clear deep, skips it in. No mulligans in racquetball. Point for Argentina. This has been a dog fight so far, Gustavo. It's her first short serve. She's so precise in her serve. serve. Su, su servicio es muy preciso. Different, this. different on that one. Pushed it into the middle. Probably 80% of those shots, low zone shots, are going cross court. Otro error no forzado por parte de Ross. Fortunate bounce, Team USA. Chuka, back wall, That's point. The second one they've had like that. One might ask, is that her meta, if you will? Why not? Okay. So York poached. She anticipated that jam, came up and took it early. And Team USA uses their one timeout this game. We'll watch the replay with Rafa. See if she come up. Legal, legal returns, but she didn't do much with it. So we're going to stay here. Day six of eight. This is the third of five feeds today. You're watching 
our feeds on the Pan Am Sports Channel as well as the networks of the International Racquetball Federation. You're watching Racquetball Worldwide. World class from Guatemala City, a hotbed for racquetball in Latin America, Gustavo. They have a wonderful juniors program here, headed up by the association president, Estuardo Ware. And the main instructor is? Juan Jose Salvatierra. And with, with the help of? Marie Gomar. Go to the, go to the sea, Marie Gomar. Inside joke, folks. Here we go. 6-4. Empty was... timeout, Team USA. Another point for Argentina, forging closer to taking a 2-1 lead in sets. Stops the proverbial, proverbial bleeding. Point for U.S. and they are in the serve. Ross, right side. Jam. Flat. You nice. mentioned earlier you like Lexi's forehand. What's there not to like? Smooth. Hit that one low and hard. 6-7. The dog fight continues. Great return to serve. 6-8. Hand out. Ball hit the third wall on a fly. That's called a long or fault serve, either one. Whoa. Okay. In the U.S., that would have been a side out because it's the serve starts in the U.S. with the motion. That's correct. Serve starts here with the drop. Nuances of the rules, folks. I'm impressed, Gary. You're like a sitting encyclopedia of information. Make sure it's the Britannica, Britannica version. <laughs> I'm dating myself, but I don't mind. Here we go, 8-8, eight, eight. wow. Lucha de perros. Ross. Ross again. Ross again. Voidable hinder. Bien cantado. Estaba justo enfrente la jugadora argentina. Pueden apelar, es lo que está haciendo. In English we'll say, you make a mistake, you deserve to pay the price. Vargas didn't clear. It's an avoidable hinder. Point USA. Done deal. Punto. There's an appeal here. I can't see her uh, <laughs> reversing, that. reversing her own call there. But Argentina has an available appeal. Why not? Number one on the court. Number one concern, folks, safety. Thank you, Team USA, for holding up, number one. Then let the ref referee do what she's supposed to do, make the call. She changed her call, didn't she? Call stands. Thank you, Rafa. Would have been a huge surprise had she changed her call. So Mendez now on the left side. Cambio de lado de nuevo. And point for Team USA. Nueve ocho. Left up. Wow, that's impressive. Team USA, 10. Team Argentina, 8. Argentina will use their one time out here. <laughs> Vargas se queda en la cancha. Nos quedamos acá con ustedes. Una sorpresa este tercer set. 
So here's one, Gustavo. We discussed this at dinner the other night. Maria Jose decided to stay on the court. Let's role play here. Let's say Ross stayed on the court. Who's entitled to hit the ball? It's a good question, Gary. I think they should uh, play fair and uh, they each should be able to hit the ball. Or nobody. Or nobody. Food for thought, folks, because somebody out there is going to ask us about that at some point in time. <laughs> Team USA, they are up 10-8 here in this third game, tercer set de esta final. Mujeres en los campeonatos Panamericanos en la ciudad de Guatemala, a ver si pueden cerrar este set. ¿Qué servicio va a usar ahora Lexi York? Drive deep left. Yeah. Oh my. Kudos to Mendez for hitting that Z that took its second bounce right in front of us. Wow. Died in front of us. So one game point on behalf of the U.S. held off by Argentina, 9-10. Game point number two for the receiving team. Oh, my. 10-10, first to 12. Shows the experience of the Argentinian team. We're not letting it phase them. Ball alive, Vargas backhand. Vargas deep court. There it is. Nobody home up front left. When Lexi's in front of the other player, she knows exactly where that ball has to go. She also saw that Vargas was way in the back court. Excellent execution of that pinch shot to the right side. Game point number two for the receiving team. Not anymore. Short crack ace. <laughs> They're appealing it. Once the VASR system is used, they'll see that that ball cleared by about a foot. Great serve. It's a must appeal, though. Oh, absolutely. There it is on the screen. Yeah. So if the call stands, which it should, It'll be the first to 13 overtime here in game. Our producer is telling us he thinks it's short. Very hard to tell on our monitors here. They have more angles. They have a camera right at that short line too. So, so it is a point. Good call. Tie ball game at 11, first to 13 now. Once, once. Wide angle clears. Clears Maria. Great shot. Didn't over hit the ball. Snap forehand. So that was a short serve then. When you said appeal lost, Rafa, it couldn't have been. So they had to have. Uh, reversed her, her call to make it a second serve. Okay. Otherwise, they would have had a point. So, so our mistake there and a win there in game number four. Wow. Game, game number three for Team USA going to game number four now up good, two to one. Good call. So we've asked the VAR team to advise us, number one, what was the call on the floor? Number two, what was the appeal? Number three, what was the result? We got none of the three. <laughs> we were 0 for 3 on that. And we, got we made the assumption. But we had good input from our uh, producing partner Indeed. here, uh, Rafael Gatica. Yeah. So he's got better eyes than you and I do, Gary. So USA won that uh, game 12-10 overtime. When we return live, it'll be USA two sets 
Argentina one set. Wow. Volvemos en 30 segundos. I played a lot of matches when I was playing the WRT with the gearbox ball. It's a different ball than the other ones. I think it's better for the game. It's durable. I think for fans it's going to be more enjoyable. The rallies are going to be a little longer. So it's going to be fun. Okay, you can explain. Game that. four. Good start, Team USA. They lead two sets to one. So the previous scenario was we thought the serve was legal. The call was short serve. Argentina appealed to no avail. So it was a short serve. No point for Argentina. Well, that's a that's a point for Argentina. Reverse <laughs> Vargas, but wow. So we've advised the VAR team to keep us in the loop. One one game four, Gustavo. Did not make it. Casi no llegó. 2-1 en este cuarto set. Sigue con el mismo servicio Globo. Muy buen servicio. Ross not phased by Vargas position there. Igual es dos. Ánimo, Team USA. Rack it up, rack it down. Ball up, ball down. USA earns a serve and a point. They Tough. have a lead. Team Argentina needs to not get down on themselves here. And, and the longer we go in this match, more confidence for the US team. That'll help. Let's not get down on ourselves. We have a history here. We know we can and will come back. 3-3, game four. 3-3. Neutralizes the point, clears Maria. That's great. Most valuable shot to me during that rally was York going up top and clearing the Argentinians deep, playing the chess game and allowing her partner to put the ball away from front court. The ceiling ball is the great equalizer. Available now with this gearbox black ball. There it is. Ball saved. Safety hold up. Repite. So in the opinion of Aguilar. Let's watch the replay here. See if it was avoidable. So we'll ask, what was the call, Rafa? Replay. The sure. From our perspective, she did clear, which means it would be a replay if there's no change. Dynamics of the match, folks. The VAR system is working. Gives the official a chance to review calmly with input from the other assistant official to make, in this case, her call final. Yeah, and the official, the head official makes the call without any input other than technically from the assistant.
call stands. So Team USA has used one of their two available appeals for this game. When we come back live, that's a referee timeout. Mendez has 30 seconds to secure another racket. And she has. USA serving four, Argentina three. This is the fourth set. USA up two sets to one. Ross deep court. Ross deep court again. Ross rolls the ball. Ross taking charge. There's an, are they appealing? If they do and they lose the appeal, guess what? They don't have any appeals left. So they're not appealing this one. The nuances of coaching. Champ serve, great serve. York. Contact there, asking to replay, good call. First serve. Aguilar. Thank you, everybody. Racquetball on the world stage here in Guatemala. Ross. I like that shot selection. Both sides hitting the ball crisply. And Mendez against the left side wall, reverses the ball, puts it down. A la Kobe. All right, here's her patented backhand drive serve. She being Mendez. Comes straight down the line. That inside out pendulum swing down that vidrio left side, second serve. Now she'll come with one of her patented lobs. Say, unfortunately, for Team USA, avoidable hinder point, Argentina, they now tie it at five. There it is. Ball live, York, wide angle. Wow. <laughs> the 18 year old from living in Texas still can play juniors for at least three more years, Gustavo. That was impressive. Focused on the ball. Five, six. It's a great return by York. Wow, Maria got stuck deep court. Kudos to York for keeping her deep. She shielded her. Seven five, four points from a gold medal team USA. Let's see what the call is. Could be avoidable. Not awarded. Let's see if they uh, appeal. Let me comment on that. I, it might, I think that could have been an avoidable because each player has a right to that ball. Failure to move, folks. Or in that case, it's a bloqueo. Why was that not appealed? I don't know, because maybe they only have one and don't want to use it. That was a coaching decision. Not a good call. If they had an appeal, they should have used I, it. I agree with you. She was right in front of her. Whoa. Mendez makes up for it. So they have appeals left. I thought they lost, lost one earlier. I guess not. Well, then they should have used one. Good cover. Doubles, communication. That's. That's a straddle ball, hinder ball. Good uh, hand-eye coordination there, Lexi. Between the legs, saw it come through Mendes. Good talent. I'll comment, in the 70s, that was the term, straddle ball. Whoa! 
Vargas poaches and it cost her. Explain poach, my friend. Poaching, going in and taking something that's not yours. Yeah, really. And she did. <laughs> and bounced back against her. Eight six. That should be eight six. It is. Good cover. Oh, right there for York. Somehow she missed it. Hand out, Argentina comes in to serve. Side out, I should say. Point as well, 7-8. Wow. Exciting racquetball here on the world stage in Guatemala City. 7-8, marcador, tenemos. Vargas. Impressive. Deep court, right side, splat winner. Ramon, que dices, amigo? Oh. Ocho iguales. Great serve. Ball live. She called it down. Okay, they're going to appeal that last shot. So the call on the floor is rally ending shot, two bounces before Team USA retrieved it. USA is appealing, saying they got to it. If the call is reversed, they'll replay the point first serve. This was Team USA's second appeal. So if they should lose it, they have no more appeals. Tough call. Ball front court. Deanna's standing back in the bleachers. See which camera has a good uh, viewing angle on that. Perhaps the one at the. Se repite. So appeal not used. They have an yeah. appeal still left. Call TVSA. over. Call overturned. So no appeal. Correct. Thank you. Whoa. So now the call is dead ball hinder with the convergence. And Maria Jose is going to appeal saying it was avoidable, I believe. If you saw there. No, they're not going to appeal it. Score stays tied at eight, Gustavo. Both Argentinian players converged on the ball. Nice. Good Fist hands. Pump. Maria Jose playing right side. Reverses with the backhand. Team USA uses their one timeout. Applause from Coach Fahare. Let's see that last shot. Usa bien la cancha. Vargas. Nos quedamos con ustedes. 9-8 ventaja Argentina en este cuarto set. Folks, go to internationalracquetball.com, print out a set of the 2022-24 rules. You're likely to learn a lot. One thing about Mendes serve is that that ball on the on the high lob is just barely coming over the short line. The reason for that is she's trying to prevent Lexi or uh, Ross from stepping into the safety zone. Very very precise serve she has. Let's see if she does it again. Here. And if they take it early, they got to take it kind of on an intermediate bounce, which she did, and she was successful with that. Backhand down the line pass. Now again, that serve was not right after the short line. It was actually almost to the hashed line, and Team USA was able to do what they just did with that point. Yeah, that was a low percentage shot, and she executed. 
nine nine. Game four. York, right side. You see most shots are going cross court, folks. Oh my, again. Using that corner. When you pinch, you want to use it. Don't abuse it, folks. Consequently, it's game number four point for Team Argentina serving. Vargas up front. Tied at two when we come back. Look to look at the last rally. We'll take a break, be back in the better part of two minutes. Rafa. My name is Andre Parrilla and I play with Gearbox. I love about Gearbox that everyone's uh, Everyone's part of the family, and uh, they have the best equipment in a great sport. Dedication makes a great athlete, obviously talent and passion. One of my beliefs is that, is that we're capable of doing a lot of things that we cannot even imagine. It's just part of uh, enjoying the process and then gets to whatever we want to get. Any sport that young athletes are playing. Uh, if you really like it, and as I said, if you put the dedication and the passion, I told you guys, you don't even imagine how, how far you can go. live from Court Central, Gary with Gustavo and Rafa. Folks, you're in, you know you're in for a treat here. We're going to fifth set tie break. Whoever's accumulated the most points through games one through four has an opportunity to serve. And uh, Team USA has the opportunity to serve. They're taking it, Gustavo. Empezando el quinto set acá. Aquí sí se acaba. El último a 11. So she's pulling a Vargas here, using her backhand. Están viendo la Not finales. a Vargas, excuse me, a Mendez. So, replay call could be avoidable. Fail to failure to move, it's appealable. I would have appealed that. I would too. You have a 3-0 in favor of appealing from the uh, production team. And that's a coaching call. We're going to ask Fahare later why he didn't appeal it. Drive Z comes up short. Speaking of coming up short, Ross hits the ball into the floor. Good half inning for Argentina. They come in to serve and lead 1-0. Patented. Mendez lob. Should be visual hinder awarded. Otra vez. First serve, 1 0. Similar to the one we thought should have been unavoidable. Again, this is being repeated. Replay. Dynamics were different, though, that time. Yes, they were. Great serve. Esposada. She was playing that the ball was going to come off the back wall, and in this case, came off the side wall first. Unfortunate. Handcuff. 
2-0. Serve and return. Oh. Smooth. The, the, the figure to phrase is wallpaper ball along this vidrio, this glass. She lost it, 3-0 Argentina. Mendez has found a serve that's working. Right angle, ball live. Good cover. Nobody home right side. 4-0 timeout called by USA. We'll stay here. Let's check that last rally. Had the whole right side. Vargas capitalizing on it. Now 4-0. So Gustavo, the history and success of Team Argentina is rising to the top here, at least the first part of the tiebreak fifth set. When we return to live play, it'll be 4-0 Argentina serving. Fajare, head coach, Team USA, called a timeout, plotting his players. You can do it, he says. And if we were betting people, we would say the over-under was met by Team USA in this match. Similar to the, that's a good timeout by Team USA, similar to the third set, Team USA was down 4-0, called the timeout and won that match. So let's see if. Yeah, they won 12-10 in overtime. 1-4 serving. 4-1, excuse happened. me, that was a handout. Not, not a good serve execution, not good serve execution by Vargas that time. Probably next time she'll go with a uh, jam off one of the side walls. Kudos to Ross. 2-4. So that's a good call. Replay, appeal by Argentina. She was not in a position to take an offensive shot there. Yeah, feet were moving. Let's see what the referee calls. Probably worked in her advantage, the fact that there was contact. As you said, she's moving, setting up. She's not gonna be able to do much with that shot. But strange things do happen. We'll see what the call is. If the call stands, then it'll be first serve. Team USA serving 2-4. Still reviewing. This call on the video assist review. La tableta. Está repasando. A ver si... Confirma su llamada o la cambia. There you saw it again. You, the viewing public, decide. Avoidable was called. So the appeal is not used. And that is a point. Okay, thank you. Second point, server. Point awarded. Dos cinco. Call was reversed. Drive Z. Errant return is served by Mendez. 
Let's see if she does it again, uh, she being York, and Mendez is more conservative with the return. She is. No difference in the outcome. Point USA. So they lost that appeal, but um, they got motivated. Indeed. Two straight points, 4-5. Not sure I like that strategy of Vargas coming in. I mean, she'll get her racket on it, but she ain't going to do much with it, in my opinion. I think the only thing she could do, do with it is get an av a avoidable call in her favor. She used Ross, that line Ross well. was on the move when Maria Jose hit that ball. Point Argentina and the serve, 6-4. Conservative return to serve. York took it early. No qualms with that. She didn't do much with it. 7 4. That's impressive. <laughs> Took it off the intermediate hop and rolls it with the backhand. Hand out. It's appealable call. Argentina does have a, an available appeal, I believe. Questioning whether that shot was, in fact, a good shot. Argentina decides not to appeal it. Second server, point USA. 7-5. Neutralized by York. Up top. Handcuffs York on the right side wall. Vargas does. Don't hit the ball after the rally, folks. Should be a technical warning by the official. 8-5, game number five. Oh, up top, York right side. It's cross court again. Did Gustavo, again, 80% of the time the default shot is cross court and it's not working. No. Falls up, comes off the back wall, and you saw what Vargas did with it. Very impressive, Vargas. 9 5, game 5. Ross, another cross court in the power zone of Maria Jose, at which time Maria Jose reverses it with a forehand, match point number one, 10-5. Experiencing, experience coming to light here. Oh my, I, that hurt us. See Weird. what the call is, yeah, avoidable hinder. Failure to, it was a bloqueo, cross court block. Going to the opposite corner. Right corner. Deep corner. Deep opposite corner. So that's a double on Tonda, my friend. Yep. And we have 6-10. Triple on Tonda. You get hit, you get hurt, you lose the rally, and your opponents get a point. Ross. Mendez. Got away with that cross court. <laughs> Front wall, side wall, kiss winner. Never say never. Never say never. 7-10. What a great match. Comes, tries to hit that near crack in the safety zone. Comes up short. Drive Z here, second serve. 
Match point again for Argentina. York deep. Mendez. York. Nice exchange of ceiling balls. Handcuffs. The young lady playing for Argentina. Point number eight. Yes, it is. It's getting close again. Ocho diez. Comes through the short crack again, near crack. Drive Z again, Gustavo? I think so. No poaching from Vargas. Whoa! One point deficit for the serving team. Asking if they have a timeout left. And the answer is no. 9 10. Will we go overtime in the fifth set? What a comeback. There's a short crack. Called it short. Good call. Drives Z again. Why not? It's worked. See ya. A faux pas, a match point. Unfortunate <laughs> way to end, but what a great, great match. Both teams, congratulations to both. Gold medal winners, Team Argentina, silver, Team USA. Nothing to be ashamed of. Absolutamente, my friend. What a great match. Thank you for tuning in, folks. Let's see that last doble falta, Rafa. Double fault on match point. <laughs> Not much to say. It happens. Speaking of happening, we'll have the men's doubles final coming up. Canadá, Costa Rica. Regresamos con ustedes en unos 15 minutos. <laughs> 